welcome everyone welcome back to crown geek now many time there comes a time when you're stuck on a blue screen like automatic startup repair or your pc ran into a problem you go through with a lot of troubleshooting steps but nothing work for you so finally the recommendation that you get is to format your pc or reset your pc but the only problem is that if you go with the format or reset you will be losing all your data so in this video i will be explaining you that if you are stuck on a blue screen that is not getting fixed and if you want to take the backup of your important data before formatting or resetting your laptop then how you can do that now let's say that if you are on a page that says automatic startup repair loop and there you get an option of advanced option so if you click on advanced option you will be coming to this kind of page that says choose an option but in case if you don't find this kind of option, then what you will have to do, you need to forcefully shut down and restart your computer for three to four times. This will be applicable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 PC and laptop. So what you can do, you can press and hold the power button until the computer gets shut down. Once it gets shut down, you can again press the power button to turn it on. And as soon as you see the Windows or the manufacturer logo, again forcefully shut down the computer by pressing and holding the power button you need to repeat the step for three to four time and then finally you will be getting a blue screen that says preparing automatic startup repair so finally once you come to this page you will have to click here on troubleshoot then you have to click on advanced options then look for the command prompt now in case if it asks you the password then you have to enter the password on my end it doesn't ask so we can proceed now once you come to the black window here you have to type notepad.exe hit the enter key the notepad will be up now in the notepad you have to click on file then click on open so now once you come to open you would be able to access your ssd or a hard drive so you can click on this pc and now here you can see all your drive listed here so from whichever drive you want to recover the data you can just click on it then you can click on the users then you can click on your user account name through which you are logged in and then you will find all your data over here so whichever data you want to take the backup now what you will have to do, you need to connect any kind of external USB or any kind of hard drive where you can take the data backup. So what you will have to do, simply need to copy that particular file. Then go back to this PC. Now look for that external USB or hard drive where you want to take the backup. Click on it and then paste the file in that backup USB drive. All right so once it's been done it won't show you right now now here don't get confused because you won't be seeing the data immediately but if i again go back to this pc then click on usb drive so you can see the file is now displaying over here similarly you have to go again and whichever drive you have the data you need to copy the data from there then you need to come to your usb drive and paste the data over here so the work will be manually and it can take some time depending that how much data you have and i recommend that you should proceed first with the important data that you want to take the backup of all right so this is the best and the easiest way through which you can take the backup and after that finally you can go ahead and format your new windows 11 or windows 10. so hopefully guys you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and if you have any kind of question any doubt let me know in the comment section and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.